In this video, I'd like to discuss how to pronounce a letter that's somewhat subtly difficult in the Hmong language, and that is the letter C. So we'll have a diagram that shows what to do with the tongue. I'll have some examples, and hopefully by the end of it, you have a clear picture of what you need to do to make the correct sound in Hmong. So here again, we have this diagram on the left side of the video, and it's going to help us understand where we put our tongue, hopefully. Uh, and I wanted to point out some of the details of it. So when we prepare to produce the C sound in Hmong, we put our tongue against the back of our front teeth. And a couple of things should happen. One, uh, your mouth is going to be, your teeth are going to be a little bit spread apart. They're not touching each other. Not, your mouth isn't closed entirely. And that should give your, uh, your tongue the ability to just barely peek, peek out between your two teeth. So try that. Press your tongue against the back of your two top front teeth. Uh, let the tongue kind of go up, uh, press up even past further up, uh, further than those teeth as well. So you kind of press all the way against like that. Uh, let the tip of your tongue kind of peek out of your uh, two teeth there a little bit. Now, uh, if you haven't pressed against each other, uh, if you kind of pull it back real quick, pull it back real quick, it makes this little pop. Kind of like uh, you're smacking your when you're eating food and you don't have any manners and you're smacking your teeth. Uh, I guess everybody's different, but uh, that's an example. Okay, so that's how it should be, and that's going to help us produce the sound. Okay, so when we do produce the sound, it's going to be similar to the cy. Uh, what you would think a cy in English would sound like. I couldn't think of a word that really produces. You could say, oh, it's like this part of the word fracture or something, but because everybody produces subtly a little bit different sound perhaps and nothing really fit in my mind. So in any case, the best I could describe is when we uh, make this sound, once we get our tongue in that place, just as described, uh, it's going to be kind of like a C Y, more of a C, a strong C with a little bit of Y in the end of it. Okay. So here's, here are a few examples. Um, so try to press, try to follow along with me if you can and press your tongue up against the back of your teeth, the top of your mouth, like we described, having your tongue peeking out just a little bit. And we're going to say, da, da. And then, do, do. And then, gia, gia. And then, gia, gia. If it sounded a little bit like a CY, you probably got it just right. Now, I just wanted to go over the CH because the H that comes after a consonant, uh, really it's considered its own consonant CH. But when you have a H after a consonant, that means it's called post-aspirated or it, uh, there's a puff of air that comes out of your mouth. So what that really means is kind of a, a bonus for you, for, or for everyone who's learning. Uh, you do everything the exact same as a C. You put your tongue in the same place, you do everything. One single difference is you force a puff of air out of your mouth. So the sound that comes out of your mouth will be significantly different than the uh, sound we just made with a C. But if you put your tongue in the same place and you do everything the same except for blowing out a puff of air, uh, you will be pronouncing the correct sound, even if it sounds differently. Okay, so let's try to do that for a second. Before we had the C's, uh, C-O-J was da, but here we're going to blow out a puff of air and it's going to be Ta. Before we had C-U-S, do. But here we're going to blow out a puff of air and it's going to be to. Again, C-I-A-J without the H is ia. But with the H is tia. And finally, C-I-A-V without the H is dia. But here it's with the H, it's going to be tia. Okay, so different sound. But again, if you're putting your tongue in the same place, blowing out that puff of air, it will be the correct sound. It should come out just like I, 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 I did there, okay? So that's the conclusion of the video. I hope it helped. Feel free to come back and practice. Sometimes it takes a while to get your muscles used to this, uh, uh, used to the new way of pronouncing it, uh, getting things just right. I hope this helps. Uh, and not only to pronounce well, but also to understand how the pronunciation works and hopefully be able to understand the difference, subtle difference in certain letters. So as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments section below the video, and I will see you in the next video.